Today we're gonna to be talking about setting up actions and hotkeys in Adobe Illustrator that are gonna speed up your workflow when it comes to designing for screen printing. Welcome out everybody yet again. It's Corey with Golden Press Studio. You, you've been here, you've seen this. If you haven't, hey, you should hang around. Uh, we got lots of cool things. So in this video, we're gonna be covering a few things. We're gonna be covering uh, one hotkey and we're gonna be covering two actions that speed up my workflow when it comes to screen printing. The hotkey that we're gonna be covering is uh, we're gonna create a hotkey for expanding objects. It's something I do all the time uh, when I'm in Illustrator and instead of going up to the menu and scrolling down uh, to object and expanding it, uh, I'm just gonna create a hotkey for that. For the actions, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna create an action that will align an item to the center of my artboard instead of having to press a couple buttons to get there. Um, I do this again all the time. It's something I, I'm always doing and it just speeds up my workflow. And the third thing is we're actually gonna set up an action that will create registration marks for us. And all the time, when uh, I'm working with screen printing designs and stuff, when we're about to print out our artwork, I make these little registration marks. And uh, now with this action, just with a press of a button, it will make the whole registration mark for me and save me a ton of time pressing keys and using my mouse. I just wanna press a button and get what I want done like that. And that's what we're gonna do. So. Without uh, any more rambling, let's uh, dive into uh, Adobe Illustrator and let's create a new document. And I'm gonna do the 13 by 19 because we're doing screen printing stuff and that's the size of transparencies that we always use. And so let's just create that. And here we go, we got our nice, nice document. We can hit Command R if we want to pull up our rulers just for fun. It's always a good thing to do. The first thing I wanna cover is uh, setting up a hotkey and so hotkeys like we were saying, you know, there's all these different you can hit V that brings up your selection tool You can hit a the, these are hotkeys that are bringing up different tools um, You know T for the type tool. These are your standard hotkeys that that we're used to using but I want to create a hotkey for something uh, that doesn't have one and so uh, maybe we have a stroke like this, you know and, uh, you know, that stroke, let's, let's up the weight so we can actually see it. Boom. You know, say we have this stroke and we want to uh, take it from a stroke and turn it into a shape. How we would normally go about doing that is clicking on it, going up to object, scrolling down to expand, clicking that, and hitting OK. And now we have you know, expanded stroke. It's the same with uh, type, you know, say you have some text, you've finalized your design and you're like, cool, I'm never gonna be changing this text ever again and uh, I want to expand this text. You normally go up object, expand, okay. Now it's no longer type, it is a shape. I've actually already set up my own personal hotkey because I often find myself expanding objects. And so this is what I do is command shift and then uh, that little bracket guy and then hit okay. And, and now I have object expand, we have a shape. To do this, this is very, very simple. All you have to do is go up to edit, scroll down here to keyboard shortcuts and select that. Uh, it brings up this menu right here and this actually shows you uh, all the keyboard shortcuts that are already activated on uh, Adobe Illustrator. Just kind of some of the, the preset ones that have come in there. And you can see this menu right here that says Tools. If you hit Menu Commands, uh, it brings up a new little menu. And if we go to Object and scroll down to Expand, uh, originally it didn't have a shortcut. And so if you just select that, uh, you can type in your own little guy. Expand appearance, it doesn't have a keyboard shortcut. And so we can we can put one in. Uh, I use that when it comes to using the width tool, it prefers you to select expand appearance. So I'm gonna click on this and let's do command, right here, can I command shift that? Command shift period. Uh, 
And it says that it's already in use, but it's one that I never ever use, and so ain't no problem for me. I'm happy with that, command shift period. Uh, that's now my expand appearance, hit okay. You sure you wanna overwrite expand? Yep, good with that, okay. Just to show you that it works is, uh, let's draw a, a little line. You know, we can draw that line, that's fine. Switch it over to our stroke. And uh, Shift W, that pulls up your width tool. And then we got this nice little, little shape. But, you know, it's a stroke at the moment. But if I hit Command Shift period, boom, baby, it's expanded and life is good again. So there you go, setting up hotkeys, super simple. You can go down that whole world, you know, edit, keyboard, shortcuts, you can, you know, scroll through this, and if there's any uh, actions in that realm that you use all the time that don't have hotkeys already assigned, go through there, find the perfect one, freaking do it. Now, let's go over actions. The very first action I wanna cover with you guys is aligning to center. It's something I do all the time. Say I have a shape like this, and instead of going up here and hitting that and hitting this to get it to align to center, what we're gonna do is set up an action that's gonna do that in one button click. So I don't have to go up here and click two different things. I just wanna hit one thing and make it go exactly where I want it to go. So, this is how we were gonna do it. You can go up to Window, and we are gonna go down to Actions. And you can select that. And I've already set up some actions for myself, but uh, what I'm actually gonna do is just delete them, and uh, we're gonna set up these new ones. So, let's delete that guy. Let's delete that guy. Perfect, and we can close that little guy. Right now we're about to set up the align action. So first I'm gonna make a little box, and I'm gonna just set him off to the side. When it comes to making actions, you have to be kind of specific and do a little bit of thinking ahead to whatever action it is that you want to create. For this, we're trying to do the align one. Go up here to uh, create new action. Select that guy. We're gonna give this a name. We're gonna say center. Got a couple too many ends. There we go, center. It's fine that it's in the default actions. We're gonna give this a, a function key. So the F8 is the one that I want to do for this guy. Where your function keys are, it's just those uh, little F keys at the very, very top of your keyboard. And you'll have to hit the function key, the FN key first, and then the F8. You could also uh, select shift or command if you'd like to hold those buttons down as well and you can apply a color to this if you want, but I, I don't really care to. We're good to go in this realm, and now we're gonna hit record. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna record all the actions that we take uh, to do this. And it's gonna remember those and then assign them to a key. So let's hit record. And I'm gonna click on our little box that we made. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna hit align to center, and uh, align to center again, that's like the the horizontal and vertical action. And then I'm gonna go over to our little guy. You can see that it's recorded these two steps we've taken and I'm gonna hit stop playing recording. Now we have saved this and if you see, if I go over here and I hit FN F8, it instantly takes it back to the center. And now we have created a simple hotkey that is just gonna save us a lot of time. I'm gonna create an action that makes registration marks for me. Real quick, I'm gonna actually go and acquire some registration marks so we have a template to go off of. So this is what I used to do. I used to click on one, Command C, copy it, come over to our new document, Command V, paste it, and then now I have it. And uh, we're actually gonna create an action that just with one button click, makes this little registration mark. I also want to put it up in this top right corner just because that's where it's gonna create this registration mark every single time. And I feel like when it's over here, it's kind of out of the way and I just prefer it to be there. So that's where we're gonna be working. First things first, I want to click on this, our template. I'm gonna drop its opacity just so we can kind of see where we're working. And I'm gonna lock this with Command 2 and uh, now this is locked and I can't access it or move it around. All right, so it's time to create this registration mark 
and there's a couple things we have to do before we start recording this action. And the first thing is we want to go over and shift our color to something that's not black. So just any color that's not black. Cool, our stroke is fine at this, and we are ready to start recording. So we're going to create a new action. We're going to call this one Reg. We're going to set it to F1. Uh, and we are going to hit record. And the very first thing we need to do is set our color to black. So we're going to go click on our stroke and we're going to set it to black and hit OK. And it just recorded that we've set our color. Then we're going to go over to our stroke and we're going to set it to seven points. And cool, we've set our stroke. The next thing we need to do is go up to our line segment tool. With our line segment tool, we're going to be drawing uh, these lines. You have to use the line segment tool because the pen tool does not work um, when it comes to doing actions. And so I'm just going to draw this line. I'm going to hold shift as I draw it so it stays straight. And cool, that's our first line. We're going to draw our second line and hold shift. And bam, that looks good. Then what we're going to do is we are going to our rectangle tool and we're going to be creating a rectangle. I think we can actually hit V just to make sure. There we go. So that's deselected. Uh, now we're going to grab our rectangle tool. I'm going to go to the center of this guy. I'm going to hold shift and option at the same time. And I'm going to draw this little rectangle out from the center to right there. And then I'm going to go over without deselecting our rectangle, hit stroke, and I'm going to set this to uh, three points now. And I think that's all good. And we're going to hit our stop playing and slash recording button. And we should, if everything worked out right, we should be able to create this guy with just the FN F1 button. And there you guys have it. A registration mark has appeared out of thin air. Now it's not a group, um, and so you know, you if you don't highlight all of it, you'd break it apart. So if you'd like, you can always highlight it, Command G, and now it's a group. Um, you're not able to do that as part of your action, but still, it's something that's super cool that speeds up my workflow all the time uh, nowadays. That oh, I don't need to go and open another document and copy and paste a registration mark. I can now just hit function one button and a perfectly good registration mark has now appeared. I can uh, highlight that command G and it's in a group and I'm good to go. And just even more proof that this works like a dream. We just create a new document and uh, you know, just show you function one and that's where it's going to make it every time. So if we have a, you know, a piece of art that is covering, you know, a big piece of our canvas, um, you know, we won't have to worry about trying to navigate and acquiring this little registration mark. We're just good to go, dude. So there you have it. Your workflow sped up, right? Are you feeling the speed, the need for speed in your veins, baby? Your workflow sped up with these hotkeys and actions. I hope that you learned something. I hope this made sense to you. And uh, hopefully you guys can utilize some of these actions and hotkeys or even make some of your own. Let me know in the comments if there's any actions that, that you are trying to create or that you have created. Maybe I'll find a really cool action from you guys. But these were just three kind of main things that I do every day that speed up my workflow just with quick little button clicks. There you go. Hopefully your life is better today. Hopefully your workflow is lightning McQueen speed and uh, we'll see you there. We'll see you in the air. And we'll offer on you in the next video, baby! Orf! I often use both of these things for... Okay. Added to reminders. What the freak? No one said Siri. <laughs> Don't? Whatever what you... do you want to change it to? N never talk to me again. Changed it to never talk to me again. <laughs> it just created a registration mark right in front of my face. My mom's calling me. 